If you have ever wondered why so many young men are so frustrated with dating, here is the truth. Have you noticed that a lot of young men seem to be angry, bitter, and frustrated all of the time? It isn't just your imagination. There really are millions upon millions of young men that are in a state of deep discontent because they can't find love. Thanks to certain societal trends, which I will discuss below, the number of available single young men greatly outnumber the number of available single, single young women in America today. In fact, it's being reported that single young men are unattached at nearly twice the rate that single young women in the United States are. More than 60% of young men are single, nearly twice the rate of unattached young women, signaling a larger breakdown in the social, romantic, and sexual life of American male. Men in their 20s are more likely than women in their 20s to be romantically uninvolved, sexually dormant, friendless, and lonely. They stand at the vanguard of an epidemic of declining marriage, sexuality, and relationships that afflict all of young America. Let me be more specific. This is by Michael Snyder. Now, according to the Pew Research Center, 34% of young women in the United States are currently not in a relationship, but for young men, the figure is 63%. As of 2022, Pew Research Center found 30% of U.S. adults are neither married, living with a partner, nor engaged in a committed relationship. Nearly half of all young adults are single, 34% of women, and a whopping 63% of men. At first glance, those numbers don't seem to make any sense. Roughly 50% of all young adults are male, and roughly 50% of all young adults are female. So how can this there possibly be such a gap? Unfortunately, the rules of the game have dramatically changed. In the old days, the goal was to find love at a relatively young age, get married, and raise a family together. But now having children is not a high priority for many women. In fact, there are many women who don't want to have children at all. Instead, financial considerations have become a lot more important in this day and age. Unfortunately for young men, older men tend to have more financial resources than they do. And this does show up in the polling. For example, one study found that employment was one of the most important factors for women when evaluating a potential partner. Employment matters for both college-educated women and women without a degree. 89% of college-educated women and nearly three-quarters, 74% of women without a degree. The education divide is among the smallest on the issue of employment, which suggests that all women value having a partner who can control, contribute financially, of course. Still, college-educated women are more likely to say being unemployed is a liability in a prospective partner. Many women are extremely hesitant to get involved with someone that makes less money than they do or that has less education than they do. But now that women earn almost 60% of all bachelor's degrees, that has become a major problem because now the number of college-educated young women greatly outnumbers the number of college-educated young men. So a lot of young women that are searching for someone on their level are turning to older men. Political views have also become an extremely important factor in modern dating. The largest education gaps in dating preferences among women are a potential partner's educational background, views about vaccines, and views of Donald Trump, and more than 7 in 10 college-educated women say they would be li less likely to date someone who supports Trump or is suspicious of vaccines. And a majority, 54% of women with a degree, say they would be less likely to date someone without a college education. For uh, Far fewer women without a degree say they would be less inclined to date someone who supports Trump, 42%, does not trust vaccines, 34%, or did not go to college, 12%. Survey after survey has found that young women are generally much more liberal than young men are. So that makes it very difficult for conservative young men to find desirable partners. Meanwhile, many unattached young women are not interested in men at all, and it's because they are dating each other. Gallup has been tracking the sexual orientation of Americans for more than a decade, and over that time, LGBT identification among most generations has been relatively stable. 
Since Gallup began measuring LGBT identification in 2012, the percentage of traditionalist baby boomers and Generation X adults who identify as LGBT has held relatively steady, and at the same time, there has been a modest uptick uh, among millennials from 5.8% in 2012 to 7.8% in 2017 and 10.5% currently. But for Generation Z, there has been a huge explosion. In 2012, 10.5% of Americans in Generation Z identify as LGBT. And by the time we got to 2021, that number has skyrocketed to 20.8%. Of those that identify as LGBT, nearly three quarters, three fourths are bisexual. So apparently, three fourths of those that identify as bisexual are women. This certainly helps to explain why there are a large number of young men that cannot find relationships. Sadly, at this point, a lot of single young men have simply given up on finding love at all. Only half of single men are actively seeking relationships or even casual dates, according to Pew Research, and that figure is declining. I would really hate to be single in the world today because it really is rough out there. So many men are deeply frustrated and sometimes all of that frustration could lead to tragedy. And in the worst case scenario, the young American man's social disconnect can have consequences and uh, be responsible for the rising rate of uh, uh, grief. I wish I could offer an easy solution to this crisis, but I can't. The social trends that have caused this crisis are likely to intensify the years ahead, and that is not good news at all. And this is by Michael Snyder, and he says it's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times is now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, he says, my name is Michael, and my brand new book is entitled End Times now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies, and Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are published on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder on End of the American Dream. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.